coming up on The Whitney Reynolds Show. Going back, going back to a place and time in your life to relive old memories and build new beginnings. This is the concept of Dave Franco's film, Somebody I Used to Know, starring his wife, Alison Brie. In the movie, Alison plays Allie, whose journey is changing drastically. While she's trying to figure out her future, she steps back into her past and discovers her former love is now engaged. We were fascinated by these themes of like the one that got away and this idea of like relationship amnesia that people have mm. after a breakup where the second they get lonely, they sort of pine for that person even if they know it was maybe not the right person for them. You know, there's, uh, it's not something that I've experienced in recent years or anything like that, but like a lot of people I know kind of struggle with this on again, off again thing. And I just think we wanted to kind of dig into it. This Amazon movie is one of self-discovery and had me personally asking the question, how can what once was and now is coexist? And the scene that helped me answer this is living in the now moment. So we have another poster for the movie where she is streaking and we did uh, on the day that we shot that scene in between setups, we did a whole photo shoot. How freeing was that? Free, oh great, it was very freeing. I have a history with streaking. Um, I, I have, did a lot of streaking in my college years and some in my adult years. And we decided to tap back into that for the movie. I just want you to know I was watching it at home and I have it as I'm like trying to make dinner and my daughter comes in right at the time you're running naked. Perfect. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, Marlo, step away, step away. <laughs> and how was it for you seeing your wife? You're like, there goes my wife just running naked. He said, there goes my wife. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All laughs aside, the major life shift we see running beside Allie is something that might jog our own memory with the 2020 COVID pandemic. And it was Dave Franco's real life experience that actually helped bring this type of story to life. I think during the pandemic, you know, a lot of my friends, they kind of reevaluated their lives in terms of their relationships, mm -hmm. where they were living, their jobs. And some of them made drastic changes because they were like, you know what? I wasn't happy with whatever it was mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make a life, big life shift and it, cause it's not too late. I think we all go down whatever path for a long time. And, and even if sometimes, you know, uh, even if you're successful at it, it doesn't necessarily mean you're happy, but also it's not too late to kind of make a pivot. Mm -hmm. And even in just such small ways, even if it's just like taking up a hobby of something that you used to love to do. Uh, my dad, uh, he, he had, gone away from painting forever and he took it up again after 40 years and I'd never seen him happier. And so it's like, you just there's these things inside that it's like, no, 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 listen to that. Before we ended our time with this couple, we wanted to know how their someone has evolved and even more so how they've done it side by side. Y'all are both young, you're married. There's a lot of like interesting things that makes you this power couple. How did y'all get here? Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely. Yeah. I think that it really was a process. You know, um, Dave wrote and directed The Rental. He wrote it with Joe Swanberg, and that was sort of like his real first foray into writing and directing a film. I, while I was working on Glow, I wrote a movie called Horse Girl with my friend Jeff Baina. I directed an episode of Glow. So like, we were dipping toes into being on the other side of the camera and having such a good time and then shooting the rental together. I was in it, Davey directed it. And that was such a great experience that we were sort of just like, why, why don't we just start from the very beginning together. And you know, obviously like for the first one that I directed, it was it was terrifying, you know, when you do anything new, especially putting yourself out and making yourself that vulnerable. But like, it's such a great time. And, uh, and I just, I don't know, it, it felt like, okay, we survived that and now let's keep pushing it further. Let's take more risks. It sort of felt like, like we thrive. We definitely thrive. No, we, we definitely thrive. It wasn't like we survived that. It's more just my like crazy mind of thinking that I'm actually going to die during this process. Uh, well, and but, it's crazy when you think about both of you being under one roof and doing this mm -hmm. project. That can be a really scary leap too because it's your family putting your name out there together. Yeah, for sure. But I think part of, um, you know, the story of this movie is partially about kind of taking risks, shaking things up mm -hmm. to get you back to a feeling of joy in your life and like just feeling passionate mm -hmm. about your own existence. I think that's part of what we've been doing by taking the reins and starting to make our own work. And also just having each other throughout this whole mm -hmm. process. It's nice to have someone to lean on. 